All right, so for this one, we have two equations. They're both in standard form. We need to rewrite these using elimination to solve. So if I look at equation A, the first thing that I see is that the coefficient of x is a positive 7. In equation B, the coefficient of x is a positive 14. I immediately notice that if I multiply equation A by negative 2, then the coefficient of x will end up being a negative 14, and then I would be able to cancel out the x's. So that's how I'm going to begin this one. So I'm going to multiply equation A by negative 2. So that becomes negative 14x plus 8y equals negative 30. So that was equation A, the new version of equation A, which I am going to add to the original equation B. I didn't change equation B to begin with. So I'm writing equation B underneath. I'm going to add these. Now remember my intention, I was just trying to intend to get rid of the x values, to cancel out the x's. Well they cancel when I add those two together. I also see that the y's cancel, ooh, and negative 30 and positive 30 cancel. So essentially what you're left with over here on the left is zero. What you're left with over here on the right is also zero. If you're left with a true statement, and we know that zero does in fact equal zero, if you are left with a true statement, then there we know a couple of things. First, we know that there are an infinite number of solutions. Or another way to say that is that all real numbers are a solution. And since we're dealing with a system, if there's an infinite number of solutions to a system of equations or all real numbers, however you want to phrase that, then that also tells me that equation A and equation B are really the same line. 7x minus 4y equals 15. If I graph that, and then I graph 14x minus 8y equals 30, I know that those would be the same line. So I'm also going to write a note to myself down here that these are the same line. The question was though, what is the solution to the system? Well, you could just say all real numbers is probably the best way to say the solution. If I had gotten a false statement right here, like suppose I had gotten 6 equals 0, which is they're not equal, so that would have been a false statement. If I had gotten a false statement, then the answer would be there is no solution. And I would know that the lines didn't intersect, which meant that they were parallel. Okay, let's try another one. Sometimes you get a problem that is just way easy. And this is one of those problems. Elimination is definitely the method I would use for number four. For sure, no doubt about it. I would never do substitution for this one. Remember that I'm trying to add these two equations together, and when I add them, I want either the x's or the y's to cancel out. And sometimes that means you have to multiply one of the equations or both of the equations by a number to get some equivalent equations. But if you look at this one, I see immediately the coefficients of y. Negative 4 and positive 4. Well, if I add those two, that would be 0y, meaning the y's would cancel out. So I don't even have to multiply in this instance. I'm just going to rewrite both of the equations down here. And if I go ahead and add them, I automatically know that those y's will cancel. So 3x plus 3x gave me 6x. And then 27 plus 3 gives me 30. So I know that x must be 5. And now I just need to substitute 5 in place of x in either one of the original equations. So I'll just use, um, I'll use equation B. It doesn't matter which equation I substitute back into in the end because I'll get the same answer either way. 
So 3 times 5 plus 4y equals 3. So 15 plus 4y is 3. If you subtract 15 on both sides, you get 4y is equal to negative 12. So that tells me y is equal to negative 3. So the ordered pair here would be the point 5, negative 3. Okay, let's look at number 5. So you've got 2x plus 3y equals negative 3, and 2x minus 7y equals negative 13 to start off with. Now, as I was writing these equations down, I noticed that the coefficient of x in both equations is a positive 2. Remember, though, I want to add these equations, so I need to multiply one of the equations, just one, by negative 1. And it makes no difference which one I multiply by negative 1. So I'm just going to go ahead and multiply equation A by negative 1. So that becomes negative 2x minus 3y equals positive 3. That was, that's the new version of equation A. Underneath it, I'll write equation B. And I'm ready to add. Now these x's will cancel out. That gives me negative 10y. That gives me negative 10. So y should be positive 1. Substitute 1 in place of y in one of the original equations. So I'll just go with the original equation A. So 2x plus 3 times 1 equals 3, negative 3. So 2x plus 3 is negative 3. 2x is negative 6, which means x is negative 3. So my solution is the ordered pair negative 3, 1. Remember, when you're doing the solutions, ordered pairs, you always say x coordinate and the y coordinate. So it's negative 3, 1. All right, so we're going to solve a system of equations by elimination. This one is a little bit more difficult. It's more difficult than the others because it's not immediately noticeable what, what to cancel out. If I look at the coefficients of x, the coefficients of x are positive 4 and positive 11. The coefficients of the y's are negative 5 and positive 2. So in order for me to solve this system by elimination method, I'm going to have to multiply both equation A and equation B by some number. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that part ready. Before I decide what I'm going to multiply both equations by, I have to decide which variable I want to eliminate. I would suggest eliminate trying to eliminate the y values because one is positive and one is negative and they're also a little bit smaller than the x the coefficients of x so my coefficients of y are negative 5 and positive 2 so i need to think what can i multiply negative 5 by and positive 2 by so that i get coefficients that cancel out you might immediately notice i could multiply negative 5 by positive 2 and that's going to give me a negative 10y. I can multiply positive 2 by 5, and that gives me a positive 10y. So I would end up with a negative 10y, a positive 10y. So when I add the equations, the y's will cancel. So that's what I'm going to do. But remember, you can't just multiply the y's. You've got to multiply everything, the whole equation, by positive 2. So that becomes 8x <coughs> minus 10y equals 2. And this becomes 55x plus 10y equals negative 65. I'm going to put arrows here 
because those are my new equations, my new equation A and my new equation B. Let's just draw a line to kind of separate that work. I would also go ahead and I'm going to rewrite the new A, new equation A, and the new equation B on top of one another so that I can easily add them. And yep, negative 10y plus positive 10y would be 0y, so they would cancel. If I do 8x plus 55x, well, 8 plus 55 is 63, so that's 63x. And 2 plus negative 65 is negative 63. If you divide both sides by 63, you know the x is now negative 1. <coughs> And now we're almost finished. I know what x is actually equivalent to, so now I need to find the y value. So I'm going to take negative 1 and substitute it in for x in either one of these original equations. I actually could substitute it into one of the new arrowed equations. I wouldn't recommend doing that because these equations have been multiplied, so they're, the coefficients are bigger than the original. So I would go with the original. Actually, I'd go with equation A because it just seems easier to work with. So I'm going to rewrite equation A, and this time instead of x, I'm going to put a negative 1. So that's negative 4 minus 5y equals 1. So to solve for y, I need to start off by adding 4 on both sides. So negative 5y equals 5, so y is negative 1. So my ordered pair is my x coordinate, which is negative 1, and my y coordinate, which is negative 1. So the solution to this system is the point negative 1, negative 1.